Hello everyone, welcome back to Goodwill English Academy online class. Today we will talk about grammar unit 3, adjectives. Okay, now let's begin. Adjectives define, ident identify or tell us more about the noun or pronoun they appear with. Adjectives can teach you noun le pronoun wara zo karon soifia tu ka adjectives to ani. And these adjectives, uh, we sometimes place the adjective just before a noun. At one sentence ahian, adjectives here noun ma atia bel ani china. And sometimes it is placed after a verb. At one uh, verb dota tekan mang china ni. And adjectives adjectives are of different kinds uh, those are qualitative adjectives quantitative adjectives and adjectives of number demonstrative adjectives interrogative adjectives and possessive adjectives kang shang shang te kha an omani titswan we will discuss each of these topics in detail okay firstly let's go to qualitative adjectives Qualitative adjectives refer to the physical features or qualities of a noun. Physical features can teach one, can taksalan dan pung ka anitaa, and they include words which describe the shape, size, color, appearance, taste, material, origin, or other qualities of a noun. Examples square, square around teach one, a shape around soya, huge, a size, mo, red around teach one, a color, anitani. Teach one and tirnan, she is a lovely girl, lotitaila. Lovely, laya ka, a qualitative adjective. A qualitative adjective fly at Tony Donica, Maitia Ka, Maitia Dum, Takaniti, Aron Soil, and Nakanitani Mo. The twin roses are red. Red can teach one a color ka, Aron Soy, Tiangani, to row, Kami, a rose, a ka, Kami rose, ni pung, ka, Aron Soy, and a landana ka, Kami, a Sophia, and a ka. Qualitative adjective continue. Okay, next. Uh, quantitative adjectives can uh, the words that denote quantity of a noun are known as adjectives of quantity uh, quantity can teach one azat so in a these adjectives indicate the quantity that is how much for example there was little food left in the plate mm, little kanaron so if you need a to azat a ka i ka plate a khan so tle malo om ti ka aron so if you need kami azat aron so if you ka quantitative adjectives to Kanti ani this one adjectives of number ti kan nei le a words that denote the number of persons or things are known as adjectives of number and these adjectives indicate the number that is how many mm, example i have 10 chocolates mo uh, 10 chocolates ane ani ti kha aron aron soilan na kha adjective of number to anitani I have many friends. Mo chantam tak ane yani ti ka aron soy lang le a many. Mo kami ka adjectives of number two anitani. This one, the difference between quantitative adjectives and uh, adjectives of number is that in quantitative, uh, quantitative adjectives are used with uncountable nouns like water, milk, and rice, and adjectives of number are used with countable nouns like books and glasses, etc. Mo in si tama at dang lam a difference ka, and some uh, and some adjectives such as some sufficient few kan tita ka they can be used both for countable and uncountable nouns. Next, we have demonstrative adjectives. These adjectives help us to point out or indicate persons, objects, or places. Hey, demonstrative adjectives can teach one. Kod zay zira hitya kan kan do kan vako chat chat katiang hao hey this that this those such etc are the most common demonstrative adjectives. Uh, one T H I S N T H A T that are used before singular nouns and T H E S E N T H O S E these and those are used before plural nouns. A difference to in Shyam, this singular noun ma kan man to T H I S and yanga plural nouns ani chuan kan man ko pui tu chu t h e s c ani thong example i want this book hele kha bu hi ka du ani atya t h i s this book b o o k book ani chuan plural noun alone alone ni chuan t h i s ni to alone t h e s e this ani thong 
Tituan interrogative adjectives kan nele a. Interrogative adjectives are who's, which and what. They are used to ask questions. Zo na siyam na hawkan ti ka ni tani. Amay ro tu interrogative adjectives hi interrogative pronoun nen hiyan siyat pol aol em em a. Interrogative adjectives ani tituan noun nen na in tunzum tlet do na ni. I example kan en ula whose books are this ani tituan whose books. Books now ni na zui nge nge. Mo interrogative adjective to this one. Whose are this? Ringot ani ito an interrogative pronoun. Ani tungang. In si tiyame madang lam na to interrogative adjective le interrogative pronoun ka. Ayin ang ema ma mayro to interrogative adjective ani ito an noun ni na in tunzom tat doon. Noun ni na zui zel doon tina ni ito. Lastly, we have possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives are used for indicating possession. Na ito so yun na, kan tichin ka, possessive to. And they are always used before nouns. My kan tichin ka, your, his, her. Kang hao ka, possessive adjectives. Chen kat tichu an niya. For example, my shirt is red. My, possessive adjective followed by shirt, noun. Mo. So it's one possessive adjective le possessive pronoun po hisyat po a ol china a difference to possessive adjective is placed before a noun while possessive pronoun is used in place of a noun. For example, we went to his office kalautani his ka possessive adjective anya plus noun. Tero, now ni na follow nga nga kati ka. Tito an, we went to him. Tirungot tayo lakaka, possessive pronoun anivele tungang.